Hi Space Cadets, Astro Chris here. Thank you for tuning in to another video. This is going to be an energy check-in for the new moon and the eclipse season that we're about to go into. Um, we're going to see what needs to be removed from your life. That's what we're going to be asking today. What needs to be removed from your life? What is it that you need to change moving forward into this new energetic season? There is going to be a sweeping of energy that's going to come in, but something has to be sacrificed on its way. So... We're going to do things a little bit differently than what I normally do. We're going to start with an Oracle deck. We're going to look at the Kipper deck, see what comes out. That's what the, the deck that I use for situational awareness. But first, hi, Astro Chris here. Thank you for joining in for another video. If you're new here, I am a psychic medium intuitive tarot reader. I use the tarot cards to help me channel in on the messages that you need to know at this time. So let's get started. <clears throat> There is ash falling all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna, no, I said we're gonna start with the Kipper deck <laughs> immediately. Already forgot. Mind already somewhere else. Okay, so bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle. I'd like to pay attention to the bottom deck energy because it does give us, give us an overarching theme of the message that's going to come out. So the bottom deck energy of the Kipper deck here, we have Courthouse. Um, this could indicate something legal happening. There are legal matters that somebody needs to either tie up or they need to address or they have undiscovered legal situations that are going to be coming up in the future for you. And it could be to help you. It could be someone trying to frame or hinder you. It could be many different things. So we're going to look into this energy to find out exactly what's going on. Um, but take this as it resonates, collective. This is going to just be general, so it may or may not pertain to your situation or something that's going to happen. Just take it how it resonates. If it's not matching up to your storyline, then just watch for the entertainment value. Uh, sometimes there's some real drama that comes out in this shiz, but we're going to see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what we need to know moving forward into this fall season. What is being eclipsed out for the collective? What is being eclipsed? <clears throat> damn double confirmation 2023 this could be the year that you guys finally get through something tough somebody's wondering am i gonna get through this message of concern man message of concern yeah someone got notified someone was uh served papers someone was someone filed case there's been a charge one something good fortune someone could be coming into some money holy smokes it's my dog Bella um wow we have courthouse great fortune and gift damn message wow okay so let's let's look into this what is this about we're going to pull a main card to clarify each of these situations here with the regular Rider Waite tarot deck. Bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups talks about a mother figure, uh, someone who's very nurturing and loving and uh, emotional. Or this could just be somebody who is very angelic-like because they lead with their emotions and they're tapped into their emotion. They have a level of emotional intelligence. Um, but we're going to clarify this and see what this is talking about because I feel like there's somebody here who, and it could be your family member, your mother, your parent, your brother, sister, somebody you have emotional attachment for in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the genders here are flip-flop. The energy, you can take it how it resonates. Someone can be a feminine but be in masculine energy and show up as a king, or the men could be feminine and show up as a queen in a reading. Take it how it resonates. So for the courthouse here, this could be somebody you know, someone that's close to you that um, got you involved here. Nine of Cups. Oh, I feel like somebody wants your money, collective. Somebody wants your money. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Surrendering. Oh, 
All right, let's reshuffle. There's a different way that I want to do this. Okay, surrendering. Hmm. Um, yeah, somebody could have got caught. Just so you guys know, there is a annual solar eclipse happening right now. That's why um, this energy that I'm pulling on is what do you what is being eclipsed out? And what does that mean for the collective? Because usually when eclipses occur, it is like this energetic shift that initiates people who've been stagnant, right? So I keep throwing cards on the ground. I don't want to take them, but we're going to pay attention. So there could be a King of Cups who found the courage to leave a situation and now they're on their own, but they need to... They need to figure out their finances, so they decided to look into something, or there's something that is owed to them that they're going to be receiving. Okay, let's draw one card for the courthouse here. Ugh, God. I need a longer desk. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Oh, shoes. <sighs> there is somebody who is going to feel left out in the cold when this person wins in court. And I'm saying wins in court because I, I feel like there is something that's owed to somebody here. And they may not even know that there's a battle going on, like a legal battle going on. Um, but there's going to be a major karmic shift here that's going to juxtapose, juxtapose two individuals that were here. Like one's going to be... One is going to go from having nothing to having it all. The other is going to go from having it all to having nothing. Does that make sense? It's It may not be as dramatic as that, but that is the energy juxtaposed here that I'm picking up on. Again, there's that Queen of Cups, so... Ugh, shit. You guys, your, your, your mother could be really working hard. Oh, uh, damn it. Okay. I'm getting something about like forgery, identity theft, something along those lines. What is this great fortune here for? Friends and family. You're going to be able to celebrate though. This may take some time. It, up to three months is when is how long it could take. Or well, the month of October can be very significant for you guys too. Um, but within three weeks, the third week of October, I'm hearing as well. Some of you, you could be have something come through for you that you did not expect because you thought it would take a long time. But there is success here. But I feel like honestly, a lot of people are gonna know about this. So you just need you need to be careful with who you tell about what's gonna be coming through for you because. Everyone's going to want to take it from you is what I'm getting. You saw that devil card come out earlier. Like, come on. I feel like some of you, you're going to be able to start a new cycle with this great fortune that's coming in for you. You're going to be able to take a new a leap of faith into something and, and come into balance. Something's been out of balance for some of you for a while. Just take it how it resonates. You could be financial. Some of you are about to come into some monetary gain in some way, shape, or form. Something you put a lot of hard work in is going to be coming in for you. Someone could have been trying to also steal that from you, Collective. The sun. Yeah, you've been illuminated to this. Or this could be a child for some of you. You have a child that's about to be born. <sighs> okay, I don't want to take that. But what's going on here? Oh my gosh. For some of you, you have a relationship coming in, a divine partner. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Empress. Wow, this could be like spiritual court, spiritual law. Someone trying to like defame you spiritually too is also what I'm saying for some of you. You could be a, you could resonate as a divine feminine who was spiritually defamed. Someone could have said that you did some really, really dark shit and you persevered through that situation. You fought, right? So it doesn't even have to be like physical court. It could just be a situation. Look! I cannot make this up. This shit keeps wanting to come out. Someone tried to trap an empress into a situation. They they betrayed her. 
somebody betrayed an empress. This could even be a masculine that is stepping into their feminine energy who was betrayed. And they're about to go into a partnership. Man, I should have fucking known. Every time I go to do a reading, I'm like, should I kill, close my door? Or, or is everybody going to stay asleep, stay napping, or be gone? I don't know. Nope. Sure enough, every time. <laughs> it's all good. They know what I do in here. It's just annoying because it, it distracts me from being able to keep myself centered in a certain space when other people, I know that they can overhear what I'm talking about. It just distracts me. Anyways. Yeah. That's what somebody was trying to do here. Somebody was trying to make a romantic offer to you, Collective, but they were really behind the scenes. They were wanting to trap you into the situation where maybe they knew that you were a person of good fortune and that you were going to have all this good luck and stuff and they just wanted to kind of take from you. They wanted you to think that they were on their side and take from you. Yeah, your intuition was screaming at you. So you fought. You fought through this situation and you're going to come out on the other side. You're going to win, essentially. Yeah, it keeps wanting to come out. There was a situation where you guys were trapped. You were feeling like you couldn't get out of it, but then there was something that happened in your in your favor here. Could have been the universe or God shaking things up for somebody that allowed you to find an out of the situation. Now you're going into this good, this great fortune because, like I said, there are things that are being eclipsed out for people. And so for some of you, there's people that are being eclipsed out of your life. What is this gift? Give me one card. What is this gift? monetary gain i'm telling you monetary gain somebody learned something they've been enlightened to something they found something out they took action they took legal action they could have like filed for something made a claim um contacted a lawyer like whatever the hell they did 12 12 on the clock when i just looked up they they discovered something that gave them what they needed to be able to move forward is what i'm saying Okay, let's clarify this with the Tarot Familiar. Bottom deck in the pre-shuffle of the Tarot Familiar, we have Seven of Swords. Ooh, yeah, somebody was definitely lying to you. They, they did something very quickly here, and they ended up getting got when they did that. See, just like that. Don't come in my fucking space. Pardon my French. Oh, the solar eclipse is almost at maximum. We have the sun. Yes, like I said, something has been eliminated to you. We're clarifying this wheel of fortune here. This something that was owed to you. Ace of Pentacles, money. I'm telling you, some of you guys have a large sum of money that you're about to walk into. And like I said, you. Huh, justice. You need to put this somewhere safe. Oh, man. Like, I could have, I feel like maybe it wasn't somewhere safe and it, somebody had access to it and then they just like double, double crossed you and took it from you or switched it to put be it in their name so you don't have access to it. Something like that happened, collective. Or this is something that, like, I feel like somebody's light bulbs are turning on. They're like, oh, shit. So then they, they're going to start going to look into something after they, they hear this. And then they're going to find some shit out. And that's not cool. Because it could be somebody close to you. And you're like, damn, why the fuck would they do that to me? When they know I'm down and out. When they know that I need it. When they know that I'm, I'm suffering. When they know that I'm hurting. When they know I'm going to be wise. Like, why would this person do that to me? I feel like that's what some of you are going to be saying. Your intuition is telling you to look into something. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it took you a while. You've been sitting on it. You haven't been listening to your intuition collective. You've been sleeping on this shit. And somebody's been in the background sneaking the fuck around on your ass. We have Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Okay. What is this Page of Cups? King of Wands. You're going to be confident. You're going to be able to treasure forward. 
We have the Two of Pentacles here. Something's going to come into balance and you're going to be able to put in the work for it. Nine of Swords. But you're anxious about doing this. You're scared. You're wondering if the justice is going to come in. Or these could be the people that um, have did you wrong. They're going to they're wonder if you ever find out. And then they're going to... Be, and you know what? I feel like it's also if... Ugh, oh my God. Deep breath. Okay. Too much. Too many messages at one time. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. They, they know that when you find this out, you are not going to be on good terms with this person anymore. That's what they're really worried about. They're worried about you walking away from the situation. They're worried about you looking at them a certain way and seeing them differently. And they're worried about you taking everything and not leaving them with shit. Even though that's what they were going to do to you. And then we're just going to hope that you forgot about it and never asked about it, you know? That's crazy. But this is, this, like I said, we started this reading with what is being eclipsed out for you. This. This is what you are no longer going to have to be dealing with. Some of you could literally be so broke. You are skipping meals. And this person, and you, you, could, you could even be going to this person and being like, Man, I'm grateful for what God has given me, but damn, why are things so hard? Like, I wish, I'm not even going to ask you for help. I know you're struggling too, but like, damn, I really wish things were different. This is really hard. I don't know. I can't do what I need to do. And I, I have so many plans for myself. And like, you know, you were just like venting to this person, I feel. And they were just like, it's going to be okay. I wish I could help. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, they were behind, you know, erasing your name off of something that was owed to you and then writing their own and then cash and checks and shit. Go look into this. Go look into this. Damn. Hermit. Six of Pentacles. They see where money's going. Somebody's somebody's noticing something different. You could be this person could be getting a little cocky and spending a lot. And so you're realizing you're like, okay, where are they getting that from? Or like they have a new this or a new that. And you're like, well, how the hell did that where did you get that? Like, it's stuff like that. Or it's like, I'm going on a trip to whatever, whatever. And you're like, how the hell are you? How can you afford that? It's off of your dime, man. It's off of your dime. Knight of Swords, the Hermit. Somebody could have hacked into your accounts, got your information, and took out like a major loan in your name. So you guys need to look into fraud, um, forgery, what is this uh six of pentacles the fool the fool king of cups the fool seven of cups oh man three of wands for some of you you went into a relationship with this person and it was someone who was that close to you who would would pretend to be like, oh, you're such a good provider. I wish I could work, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to stay home and take care of the kids because they need me here when really you're a shitty parent. This person's gone all day long, busting their ass to give you money to pay for all your freaking bills. Meanwhile, they're out here taking out loans and shit, opening credit cards in your name and shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Guys. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they put you in a situation where you're stuck now. You're stuck now. And you can't go and do what you want to do because now you have to fight through this situation. Some of you could have someone in mind that you know you want to go and make a love offer to as well. This person it probably did this on purpose to try and stop you because they, they felt like your emotional bond. 1919, when I looked up, it was slipping or something. This person could have purposely put you in this situation where now you've got to rebuild your fucking life. They destroyed your finances. Look, two of cups, three of wands. What was I saying? Delayed. They purposely delayed you, collective. Ugh. 
somebody could be getting that message of concern that we saw in the beginning could literally have been that you saw your credit score and it made like a 100 point dip or some shit like that where you thought you were going to be able to to take out a loan and to like start a business or something like that but now you can't anymore this person screwed you so much to the point where yeah that's not gonna happen now it can't happen now you gotta go fix this now you gotta go file a claim at the court now you gotta go uh get your identity back now you gotta go handle all this business but you don't have a dime to your name so you're you're out here hustling asking your family for fucking favors and money and shit like can i get a ride to the post office can i get a ride to this building can i get a ride to this I need to check the mail. Can you drive me by here? Like, hold on. I'm waiting for something. I'm not going to go out. I don't got money. I can't go out and hang out with you guys. Like, it's shit like that. Somebody's like, they're stuck in a situation because they have to fight through this. So they're kind of like, well, F it. This person's just going to have to wait because it's cool, though. I feel like wherever you're headed, even after... Like, this may be something that you guys honestly figured out recently, and you are just distraught because you can't believe that this person did this to you. But at the same time, I want you to understand that it's going to come through on the other side. You're going to be able to get what's owed to you because there is justice that's been coming out here and you're going to be able to have the confidence to celebrate like I can't predict exactly when that's going to happen or what you need to do to make it happen but there's going to be an end to this situation and you're going to be able to get what's owed to you and a lost opportunity heart wall yeah this opportunity gave you a chance to end this cycle because it forced you to get to rock bottom where you had to be like there's no way to go but up so instead of getting distraught you got hopeful that's what i'm picking up here chaos somebody's been doing chaos magic to you too they could have done financial chaos magic that made you in the situation you're in now. You could have been doing directing stuff at your family. Okay, so we know an ending is about to occur because you're seeing something for what it really is. Yeah, chaos. You're in the middle of a chaotic situation, but there will be change. I'm telling you, something is going to change for you up ahead. By the way, this is the Echo Soul Oracle deck. It was not pre-shuffled, so I shuffled it and I did not pay attention to bottom deck. Um, what is this situation about having the opportunity to take a leap of faith and be generous? Regret. Okay. Yeah, someone is regretting the decision that they made because it did not lead them into something good. It it actually gave them a it created blockages for them. Look, but that cycle's complete. Um there's a commitment that is hurting here because of the situation. Separation, yeah. The reason why they can't come towards you is because they have to deal with this situation. We're almost at totality with this annual or solar eclipse. Four minutes to totality. I will continue this reading up until totality. But if you guys are new viewers and you are enjoying the way that I give this message, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and energy. If you would like to receive your personal messages from this channel, um, I will continue to give notice about when I open up for personal readings, but you can order, order, order a digital message from me. All right. What else about this ending? What else about this ending? Stalling somebody yeah, because you're at you're at separation from something that's going to come in for you in the future collective. It could be a relationship. It could be money. It could be a new job. You are 
separated from that right now because someone is purposely trying to stall this situation from ending for you because they could know they could know why something is happening but they're not telling you why it's been happening collective they don't want you to be privy to what's been going on because maybe they could be at fault whoever it is that i'm i'm picking up on here take it how it resonates but it does have, does have something to do with money. This person could either be draining your bank account or they could be using your information to get money from somewhere. They could even be selling your information and getting money. This could be a company, a major organization. Like, you know how um, your phone companies will sometimes sell your data? I feel like it could also be a situation like that for some of you where you're going to get like a class action lawsuit uh, refund that's coming back to you and you're going to be able to have passion back into your life because you're going to get what's owed to you you know it, i think it's interesting the energy of money like if you are doing positive money spell work um and things to bring in abundance for you you got to be careful about what it is you're asking for you can't just be like i want a million dollars no bitch you are not going to get it. In fact, we're going to take everything from you because the fact that you didn't know how to ask properly for what you were trying to manifest, damn it, <laughs> for what you're trying to manifest, that just goes to show that you don't deserve it right now. So we're going to wait until you learn a little bit more and then you ask correctly. So for some of you, you've, you've had to learn that lesson. You're like over here, like, I want to be a millionaire. Okay, all right, but tell us how you're going to work for it. We want to see you work for it. Do you know your own skill sets? Do you know how your creativity functions? Do you know what makes it work for you? Do you know how to hustle? You know, we're going to look into those things. Your spirit guides, your spiritual team, God. God wants to know that you know how to be a humble person because are you going to help the world with this wealth or are you going to destroy yourself with this wealth? That is the question. So for some of you, the fact that there could have been all this drama happening with money, a big lump sum of money that was owed to you, it could be because the universe wanted you to experience some shit first before that gift was given to you. Are you going to use it properly? Are you going to use it to be a humanitarian? Are you going to use it to be a philanthropist? Are you going to use it to better the world? Uh, help with research? Like, are you going to use it to, to do better? Somebody was negligent here and they were showing the universe that they are not, they are not fully healed. They don't, they don't understand the assignment. Um, they're not at the vibrational level that they need to be at to handle this wealth. And so for some of you, it was purposely held back by God. Because when you get this in your bank account, God wants you to use it for something specific. Some of you have a destined path in life. You're destined to be wealthy, but you have not been living the way that you need to be living for it to be given to you as a gift and a reward. You need to look at it as a reward, as a gift. You cannot look at it as, oh yeah, I'm the hot shit. Let me go out and buy a Lambo. You cannot be doing that. That's why all these influencers, man, they think they're hot shit, but mm -mm, no. Where's that plain Jane ass looking humble bitch on the corner that likes to talk about self-improvement. I want her to give me advice because I don't care how you got your Lamborghini. The fact that you even have one, it's fine if you're like a car collector or you manufacture them or you have enough where you are taking care of your family, you are donating, you are changing the world, you have these businesses that take care of you. Sure, go out and get you a Lambo, honey. You worked hard, you deserve it. But at the same time, that's not how people are doing it these days. They're out here, they're wanting to look flashy online, so they go and they get designer bags, designer shoes and shit. Like, when I got money, I'm still going to be wearing a $20 dress and $1,200 shoes. That's just how I function. I like what I like. But I'm going to make sure that I take care of myself, that I take care of my family, I establish a future, I build my empire before I go out and I buy Gucci bags. I just, I don't know, somebody need to hear that shit. I just hate hate how people go about this and you're praying for money and you're doing all these this this like financial spell work but you're not getting the monetary gain that you think you deserve and it's because you don't have the right intention you're not in the right mind frame for it so it's not going to come in some of you are losing money and you're like what the fuck <laughs> you're like 
how is this backfiring so bad that I'm losing money? You could be out here paying for this spell work and it's just completely going sideways. Oh my goodness. Let's get a moon magic affirmation card here for you guys. How can we help you moving forward through this eclipse season? What do you need to learn? And we are a few minutes from totality in Oregon. I think the annual solar eclipse shadow is moving through the North America. All through America, actually. It's going to... Start from the upper left portion of the map and then move its way through Texas and into the Caribbean. So they get to see a really cool show. It's interesting to watch. I have the live feed on to the right of me. I'm watching it. All right. Well, let's see. What do you need to know at this time? What is the affirmation that you can give yourself to be better about living humbly and coming out of the ego and just revamping the way that you see the wealth in your life. Um, once you step into that mindset and you're like, okay, I am hungry. I am skipping meals. I do have to drink from the tap. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, what are you trying to show me, God? What do you need? What do you need me to know? What do I need to know? Let me see what I need to see. And some of you are like, you know what? I surrender to this. I'm done. I I'm tired of living the way that I have been. And I'm going to step into this and, you know, take full responsibility for the way that I spend my money. Take responsibility for what I put into my body. Take responsibility to who I come into a relationship with. Uh, yeah, shit like that. Okay, we had two fallout. It says, I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. This is one of the affirmations. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. Beautiful imagery. It says, I see the gateway is open and the pathway is clear. My journey begins. Some of you, you could have come to this change around October 10th, the 1010 gateway, 1010 portal, when things started to really shift for you is when that, that could have happened. And here on the bottom deck, it says, I let go, I release, I am within perfect possibility. <gasps> okay <laughs> that's a total solar eclipse you guys my goodness wow this is the thumbnail right here that's crazy how did i know we were gonna see that come through on the screen that is pretty cool all right that's where I'm going to leave the message for you guys. Thank you for watching all the way through. If you want to become a member, you will get access to extended readings, behind the scenes content. I will be at the Orlando Warehouse for the EDM Festival coming up for Halloween. It's going to be witchy themed. You'll see me there. I'll be giving readings. We're going to have some cool table games. Um, and you can just hang out and chat with us. I look forward to seeing you guys if you're local, if you did go to the World Psychic Fair and the festival in April. Come by and see me. Come get a reading. Come come buy some merch. Um, have a spooky, a wonderful spooky season.